name is Will Brown, uh -huh. and uh, we're here at Tennis Machines today. And uh, I've been working here uh, just a little bit over half a year. Oh, I grew up uh, playing tennis as a youth, um, and then um, yeah, a little all through high school, and then uh, I, all of my children play tennis as well. Uh, my is 17, Gracie is nine, just turned nine, and the boys are uh, just over five. This is the Prince Neos 5000. Really nice model. It's got all sorts of things. Nice turntable to work with. If you have a location where you have a lot of people uh -huh. uh, coming in and out, I mean, it's a great looking machine. Yeah. Right? Um, you know, it does, it, may, it has bells and whistles, literally, like it makes noise. Uh, and, and besides that, I mean, it just, it, uh, in my opinion, like the, the Prince, compared to the older model, like a Prince uh, 1000, the Neos 1000. Which is a good stringing machine. This one, uh, the tension head is a little bit farther away, so it you, you basically get a, a better pre-stretch. Okay, this is a tension head right here. Okay, this is the pulling device. This is what pulls the string taut. All right. So this right here, it pulls a greater distance than the, the previous Prince Neos 1000, um, and what that does is it pre-stretches all of this string right through here. All this section right here is pre-stretched. Okay, which is basically the next length, which is right here, uh, on the racket. Okay, so that's so I don't know if they thought about it when they designed it, but it just works out that way that each string gets pre-stretched, which is a great feature. You type in the button here of what your you want your poundage to be there, and this one's 59 pounds. Okay, so. That, that feature of pre-stretching the string, basically you get more control and, and yeah, just a, a product that's closer to what you're, you're actually asking it for. And they can, you know, kind of fine tune their game as to what they, they actually really like, tension and string. It gives you lots of options here, uh -huh. um, it, which makes it convenient for badminton or squash rackets, really high and low as far as the tension goes. Um, like for instance, this button right here mm -hmm. will automatically add 10% to that next string that is pulled. And what you want to do is, is hit that button for that extra 10% every time you're going to tie off a knot. I'm going to hit this knot button, uh -huh. okay, and that's going to add 10%. Like this racket's being strung at 59 pounds, uh -huh. so it's going to add 10% approximately six pounds on this last pull. Last pull, this string right here has already been tensioned once, but we're going to tension it. We're going to take it up 10% right there. Pulls and stretches the string a little bit. Lock that tension in. A little bit of a loss of attention right there. But we're, we'll fix that here. So here you go if you want to look at the outside of it. Right there is the traveler. Okay. Pull most of that out. This is called a Wilson knot uh -huh. for its worth. Oh, yeah, a little tidbit. This is the exact knot they use the US Open. And they're all required to use the same knot. It's pretty much the industry standard. Okay. 